someone else who, while it hasn't been be well for him, we go back to set two during the day. I believe if I'm Warwick, he's able to find success against the Valkyries, but... Certain circumstances, I've been loving the ROM. Might this week, six bands, so there's a Kwong without Hebo. Oh. That would be too... After what we saw earlier, maybe my only thing still. Your soul is heavy. Especially... Off. For the Niflheim. If you are assassinating a single target, if you are diving in and uh, auto whoa, whoa. Like, Oh my goodness, friends! He gets taken under the tower, and the Kuzinbo oh, this guy might be dead too. new by Hex Mambo pulls him back under, and Davey, he might be in some trouble as well. He's looking for the auto trades. Spudio needs to hit the auto, and it's Kha'Zix that'll finish off the second kill. Oh, God! And Johnny finds Gunter as well. Hex picked it up in this draft still relatively new we'll hold that thought though julio on this right hand side of the map rapio has made his way over but no ultimate just yet in fact might turn and see if maybe the wargs put enough respect on you that they dedicate a member to chasing you out wow. ult over the wall from julio should yeah. just spell the end of it should yeah. should grab <laughs> in game number one hex mambo if you remember were able to grab themselves an 8,000 gold lead it might even continue here if davy gets picked he <laughs> just needs miserable oh my goodness he doesn't even few times pred just uses abduct but that can't be a consistent tool unless it works again good grab there and kha'zix will be trying but good Gunter lord is the one getting pushed and he doesn't use anything either but luckily the scarabs blessing video has not been even more aggressive with this lead but you're right the damage just coming out early from this all around and maybe that's why we're seeing it get picked the recent buffs that we've seen to this ring but hold that johnny was the one finding the engage and that's because the team is on the way the assassinate comes through and the cc is beautiful rapio does not get to play the game and he'll be sent back Ooh, to base on the gray screen as gunter turns around and prints Helps out and finds the finishing blow onto Johnny, but Gunter is punished for turning back around as a result, and it's only the tank surviving. Wing at, at legitimately 60 seconds into the game. Now it's Rapio who's looking for the engagement. He'll drop the regurgitate and force the ultimate from Spuddy, who cancels it early and hopes he's got the help from his team. But the final judgment through the wall secure. Be as easy though. Gold Fury pulled out 50%. Oh, through space and time hits a couple, but the Gold Fury is not low enough yet for the steal. But it's the unstable vortex no. that comes through and takes away the objective. And now Prince, uh -oh. he's been sundered, he's been locked down. But the Scarab's Blessing will come through and they'll wait on the ultimate to delay. The Assassinate and the Portal will grab Hawk the final hit. They'll steal the objective. Niflheim Wargs, over-aggressive, man. I mean... I like the idea, you know, do something on map while you have this opportunity. It's going to take Spudio 10, 15 seconds to get to that Gold Fury, but an overcommitment. Once you see that ultimate rip through two of your allies. Eager to get involved, perhaps. We've got fights on alternate sides of the map. Spudio will get those relics burned and forced into the Astro Barrage. Grouped up with a space and time, Close. and Davey is the target. It's now Kha'Zix alone Double portal. chasing him out, and spudio has been isolated on the backside of the fight. It will be Kha'Zix who lands onto this capture point. Pred's heading back there. We'll try to stop him from getting it. It's just one mistake. Get out. No pushed off. Ooh, it's blinking. I don't know. Fury, they push Hawk away, or rather they push pick up these new glyphs here in the 10.6 patch. So now we've got the Eldritch Jagger, but we've got Rapio under pressure before you even get a chance it's not good and the ultimate gets used early on through space and time and the astro barrage come through they need one more shot but it won't do it but davies come to help out the fight as well and kha'zix it gets swallowed alive gunter on a killing spree and preds joins him in the grave but it's khan who may have found himself too far forward everybody gets out with their life outside it's the supports old. but johnny holds on to the assassinates and will grab the double kill onto the mid laner and Davey gets hit critic. All that for this. Fire Giant pulled, and where are the wargs? It's dropping fast already, down to 50% HP, and they've got this soul field to give them a little bit more damage as well. Preds and Kana in the vicinity. They've got to look for a miracle steal here, and they won't find it. Hex Mambo pick up the Fire Giant and rush forward with a through space and time as well. A good blink away from Rosso. And they, he knows. It's Gold Fury time. He might catch them off guard here. Davey is taking a ton of damage. And he's Johnny got goes huge. 
huge! He gets Davy, and he's looking for Gunter. The dash is beautiful to survive a little bit longer, but Kha'Zix will catch him on the other side, and Gunter falls, wow. and Rapio falls as well. Johnny sets up everything, and for... Now it's 20 seconds without two. Try and defend your Phoenix against that. Five members strong, and Julio's first on the engage. Doesn't even hit anybody, but that's because everybody backs off, and it's a free not look stoppable. And with so many question marks in how they put this composition together, Hawk's got to be not. careful, though. Hawk? He, oh, okay. no! A miss life for free. I still think a win, though. You grab the Phoenix, you're going to grab the Gold Fury as well. Hex Mambo on a tear. Yeah, Hawk's allowed to die there. You'd already accomplished everything you could have set out for with that fire giant, barring ending the game itself. Having taken should spell the end of the engagement for the wargs. I don't know if he does. Does he not see them? He doesn't. He doesn't yet. He's forced into the ultimate and no roll available, no beads available as well. He's but out. He He's out. Surely. Off guard. Surely he has to survive, but they are all in on the ADC. And Rapio finds the first to pick up the kill, but he's being turned around. And Akazix finds the jungler and trades it through space in time. Hits three and is on to the members of the Riffleheim wargs. And Hex Mambo are pushing down the members. Mid lane is Davey. Davey. He's taught between a rock and a hard place, and Hawk finds Gunter as well. For all that they have committed, the Hex Mambo have responded in kind. They'll take down three and looking to make it four on to Kana, trapped up against the wall. They'll find a four for be it a, a team fight here or a fire giant there. And now it's Hex Mambo looking towards the Phoenix. Julio Fearless on to Preds will push him back and he's into a wall. Preds tanky. is trapped, but he is tanky. And the Phoenix is not as tanky. Preds and that middle no lane bird will you fall. Wouldn't. And Rapio chooses to go in on the back end. But Johnny plays the in and out. He'll get taken. Air Giant now respawned back on the map. They've got their Titan as well. Pushing up this right hand side. The fire minions are in the base. They have nothing to hit. Nowhere they're to go. Just gonna stand around there. I don't know. They're, Where they're, are they going? They're passing towards the Titan on the right hand side. The fire minions are well trained. The gates, but they are not worried about it right now. The Nifflime works are worried about the fighting. Kha'Zix is the first one in Sunder. Onto the two carries there. And Look at Gunter. Gets forced. But Rapio, he's finding the back. And Johnny has found his way into the back as well. Gunter has to dash away aggressively. And Spuddy one auto. is the one turned around on on the other side. Kana taking the 1v1 versus the ADC. And Preds is able to keep Davey alive. But ultimately, it's Mambo that come out on top. They find three after an elongated fight. And Gunter will be the fourth Preds, the only remaining member. And he will not be enough. They have to kill this Titan in the right-hand side. Hawk is up there to do it. But they'll grab a full Deicide, and this Titan will join back in the base just to fall. The Hex Mambo take it in two. Man, the, the minions were just waiting. Hex Mambo trained them well. That Titan on respawn dealt with promptly. The Niflheim wargs. I love that idea. That's the first time we've seen that style of play. Our Titan's not in the base room. Let's get out of here. Get active while we ha don't have to worry about a back door. We don't have to worry about fire minions leaking into the base. They group up, push down the enemy Titan, get rid of it quickly. But it's not enough. You have to win the team fight afterward. And that's where they struggled throughout the entirety of this game. Hex Mambo, just too clean when you allow them to five on five. If Lime Wargs try and bring a new idea to the table, and I don't blame them, they were feeling confident. They had to force something in these fights. First, it was in the mid lane. They dive under the tier two tower. They spend all of their resources trying to kill Spudio, and they do. See the Camelot Kings, the Jade Dragons. We got to see the Leviathans and the Ferrymen duke it out. And now we get to see.